The difference between the GOP and the Democratic Party is now out in the open. Nothing exemplifies the difference in the way both the parties are handling the sexual misconduct allegations against their own, Andrew Cuomo and Madison Cawthon. The pressure on Cuomo has been intense and it has evoked strong reactions from leaders in the Democratic Party, from Nancy Pelosi to AOC. On the other side, the allegations against Madison Cawthon, the congressman from North Carolina, are growing by the day and the GOP leaders continue to remain completely silent about it. Can you name a single GOP leader who spoke about the sexual misconduct allegations against Madison? Can you? Sir was on Fox News yesterday morning. Not a single question about the sexual misconduct allegations, but they gave him all the time he wanted to talk about the so-called cancellation of Dr. Zeus, the one thing that Fox and the Republicans cannot stop talking about. Just in case, if you're not aware of Mr. Madison from North Carolina. Also tonight, serious questions are swirling around the youngest member of con Congress, an up-and-coming Republican with an increasingly high profile. Our Washington correspondent, Sunderland Sarfati, is working the story for us. Uh, Sunderland Congressman Madison Cawthorn, he's facing some troubling allegations about his past. I know you've been looking into all of this. What are you learning? That's right, Wolf. Uh, Madison Cawthorn, the freshman here in Congress, he's already captured national attention given that he is the youngest member of Congress. But tonight he is facing new allegations about his sexual conduct while in Congress, which was only four years ago, and also the narrative that he has so carefully crafted about his background. If we don't start fighting our, for our country, then who will? He is considered a rising star in the Republican Party. Madison! Madison! But Congressman Madison Cawthorn's past and the political persona he has cultivated is littered with inaccuracies and dark allegations. I welcome increased scrutiny because, you know, I don't have anything to hide. Cawthorn faced numerous allegations of sexual harassment while attending Patrick Henry College in Virginia just four years ago. Accusations Cawthorn has denied. His MO was to take vulnerable women out on these rides with him in the car and to make advances. Caitlin Coulter went to school with Cawthorn and says she was taken on what he called a fun drive. According to Coulter, Cawthorn asked her about her purity ring and her sexual experiences. Coulter says she felt something was off and shut down the conversation. He got really upset and he whipped the car around and started going back to campus at 70, 80 miles an hour on these one lane roads. Um, and it was it was really scary. CNN spoke to two other women who went to school with Cawthorn. Both of them also mentioned his invitations of the so-called fun drives and that turning him down would result in more unwanted attention. There was a lot of sexual innuendo, Lee Petrie told CNN. It got really uncomfortable walking to and from class. He would yell out, are you ready to take that fun drive today? That pestering continued. That attention was not what I wanted. Now, what are we all going to do about this? Why do you think Fox and Friends wants to talk about cancel culture as if that is the most important thing that needs to be discussed today? Because the GOP does not want to talk about itself, what's going on inside the party, and what happened in January. The best way to do that, the best way to move people from topic that they don't like is by making us talk about topics that they like. The more you and I talk about cancer culture, the better it is for them. That is why from the farmer guy to the local GOP guy, everyone is jumping on this topic. They will keep amplifying this topic as, topic as much as they can. But also remember, unless the national media buys into that momentum that they are so desperate to create, nothing is going to happen. This topic will remain self-contained within the right-wing echo chamber. That is why they spoke about it detail in the CPAC. That is why Jim Jordan is calling for a hearing. And that is why so many other people are stepping up, continuously talk talking about that particular issue. So back to Andrew Cuomo and Madison. Both have sexual misconduct allegations against them. And now we are seeing a diametrically opposite reactions from both the parties. Democrats have in the past done a decent job to address these type of issues. Case in point is how they dealt with Senator Al Franken, but they never really mustered the courage to bring the GOP to bear the weight of the actions of its members. When it became clear that Lindsey Graham had called Georgia officials to discuss the election, the Democrats should have said that Lindsey must go and no business will move otherwise. That's an integrity question 
that never got its due discussion. So were the stock trading activities of some of the members in the Senate. There is no point if Democrats only care about keeping their house clean. They should also be ready to bring everything to a halt when the integrity of the mem their members or GOP members is being questioned. They cannot allow the GOP to set one standard for their members. If they do, if they have that option, then it is not a GOP problem. It will be the entire country's problem. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please do subscribe.